Live from the Sands Convention Center, Las Vegas, Nevada. Extracting the signal from the noise. It's the Cube, covering HP Discover 2015. Brought to you by HP. And now your hosts, Dave Vellante and Jeff Frick. Welcome back to HP Discover, everybody. This is the Cube. Jeff Frick and I are really pleased to have Michael Zhu on, who's the Senior Director of Global Alliances for HP Networking. Good to see you again, Michael. You too. You so too. last time was in, we were in Barcelona, I believe, yes. and uh, we it were is. talking about uh, SDN and what's new in the last six months. Well, I'm actually very excited to come back because uh, in the last six months, our SDN App Store has uh, a huge stride in terms of progress. I believe um, when we talked, we have just launched the App Store for two months. We launched uh, in last November and uh, at uh, Intop New York. Back then, we had uh, six applications in the store and we have about 40 ecosystem partners. And today, we have 18 applications and we have more than 80 partners. So we have actually tripled the number of applications in the store and we have doubled the number of ecosystem partners. So maybe you could talk about the objectives of the store. Let's sort of recap that. What, what are you trying to accomplish? Absolutely. The HP's SDN approach is an ecosystem-based approach. We have all the different layers of SDN. We have the infrastructure layer, as you know, we have over 35 million ports SDN enabled in the switches. And today they are on customer premise and we can turn it on. And we have an enterprise grade controller which can program the network, but we believe the value, the business value that the customer can have are through applications. And we don't want to do it alone as big as HP. We believe the innovation should come from the industry, coming from the developer community and the ecosystem and the app store is our way to do it. Okay, so it was so new when we last talked. What, what, kind, yeah. of, what kind of progress are you seeing? Could you get, you know, any, any, what's the traction look like? Yeah, absolutely. So we, um, in the past six months, we have focused our efforts in two regards. One is really focusing on driving use cases. What are the most compelling use cases the customer want to have? And I think back then you asked the one question is, uh, what is the killer, killer app? I think we have emerged as uh, three killer app categories. Uh, the number one is actually security. SDN give you the unprecedented capability which you can essentially turn the network fabric into a intelligent security appliance and you can inject the security safeguard into every single port of the network and you can enforce security policies into the network. That you cannot do with the legacy network. Traditionally you do it with appliances and we see that a lot today as a main use case for SDN. Number two would be optimization. Um, I think we talked about this, like the application we did with Microsoft Link. We can dynamically adjust the network for real-time traffic. And number three is orchestration and uh, the uh, visualization of the network because you have now the big picture of the entire network and you can go really deep. So well. Michael, uh, without sort of SDN and this sort of application, yeah. the killer app that you're talking about, I would have to put in a separate appliance, a separate management, piece of management infrastructure, a separate you know, physical hardware cost yes. associated with that. Yes. And, and then I would, what, I would achieve sort of a similar I can, business capability? Yeah, maybe I give you an example yeah, from a customer. Um, it's a South Washington school district, 30,000 users, 31 sites, very big school district in the U.S. Yeah, huge. And uh, they have a huge challenge on security because the mobility user, you know, just grown exponentially. Four years ago, 2,000 users online, now 30,000 users, yeah, 10 wow. times. And the problem is uh, they uh, have a huge security concern. It's all BYOD devices, right? You can't put any software. So the way for them to do is somehow find a way to protect the network. The, the appliance way is you put an appliance in front of every switch, in every site, very costly, very difficult to manage. What we can do with the SDN application from the store, we call SDN Network Protector. At the back end is the tipping point DV database, 
basically we know what are the male whale sites, where are the fishing bot nets. We block any malicious DNS request at the port of the edge switch. So you have the entire campus protected and the ROI for the customer, they compare the cost, they save 90% of the cost. So the control is now behind the port instead of in front of the port. It, exactly, it's a, at a central place, but you don't have to pull the traffic to a central place. Right. Essentially, you are extending control to the existing network that you have today. So, okay, now this app leverages Tipping Point. Yes. And it's a, But it's not an HP app? It is an HP application. It is, it is, okay. But we have another, we have the partner application in the security category as well. So that's why I'm not talking about single killer application. We have a category of apps. I think that we have six to eight security applications. You know, for example, one of them is from iBoss. What iBoss is doing is when you have a breach, you know, I think it happens, you know, sometime, when you have a breach, what it can do is leveraging SDN to prevent a affected node to infect the other devices in your network. And that is the leveraging SDN And so as these well. are applications that, that are developed by developers in your community that yeah. may be leveraging, H, presumably they're leveraging HP, you know, Arcsite, Tipping Point, you know, whatever it is, but not well, necessarily. Well, so, so they only leverage the HP networking platform. So essentially, the HP networking switches, uh, wired and wireless, as well as the controller. So and, and this is the platform. It could be have. their own security, or, or and the or secret sauce of the security is coming from the developer. From the developer, so they preserve their security sauce, so secure, uh, secu um, security sauce uh, that they have, and uh, they extend their control through the network. And that could be yours. It could be somebody else's. It yeah. could be for any open flow enabled. Uh, and then, the, so these are these apps are sort of down and dirty infrastructure type of apps, right? We're talking. Mm -hmm. So then the other is. Optimization. Maybe give us an, an example of, of yeah, of absolutely. Optimization. So, a couple of examples. One is the Microsoft Link, mm -hmm. uh, real-time communication. Right. Uh, for real-time communication, eighty percent of the time, the performance of the link is caused by problem of the network, not the application itself, because the traffic is encrypted. It's very difficult to understand when the traffic is coming in, and if you do the traditional ACL, QoS, it's very manual, and it's very fragile. A lot of the time, you're making mistakes on the fly. And what we can do now is what I call deterministic networking. So essentially, through API, our controller is talking to the link SDN manager itself. And every time it initiates a new real-time communication, it tells the controller and say, hey, I'm starting a new session from user A to user B, and we have the topology view, we understand which switches and devices it is going through. We're telling all the switches on route and say, prioritize this specific traffic above anything else. So we maintain a bandwidth, a priority of this real-time traffic, and the beauty of it is we can do it dynamically. Once the session is done, we tear it down and return the resource back to the network. And then the third killer app is talking about visualizing my visualizing, network, right? Yeah, think, so. think about SDN, right? Uh, it's a, it's a high-level uh, view, not a device-by-device device view, and you can go flow-based uh, control as well. It can go deeper and very granular view. Um, you know, that's something that, uh, as a monitoring and visualization application, can really take advantage of. So what else is going on? What's next in, in the app store? So you get, you said you have uh, 18 apps and 80. Partners. Yeah, yeah. Did I get that right? So, yes. So uh, yeah, eighty more than eighty. I think eighty-six partners. Eighty-six now. partners. We're still so signing so new so partners. What, what's the role of a partner? Maybe describe that a little bit. Well, the role of the partner. First of all, they have to have an innovative idea of the application. They know exactly what kind of customer use cases they have. They bring the idea to us. We have a team who is working with you. Let them understand the capability of the network. We actually have business onboarding to understand the use case, and we have technical onboarding to understand how we can work together to make the application happen. Okay, yeah. so 18 apps, 80 partners. You obviously have a lot of apps in the pipeline then. Yeah. Is that yeah. Is that we have <laughs> quite several, yeah, over a dozen in the pipeline, in the making, and we're still signing new partners, but a lot of the efforts today is with customers, because I truly believe, you know, after many years of SDN, 
we have reaching the stage where customer adoption is going to ramp up. I really see this year could be coming a very significant year for customer adoption. And, and the, the, the partners are both developing apps and, re, and, and reselling and distributing apps, is that right? Or are they, they primarily are They're the uh, reaching to their own customer base, yeah. but for HP, our sales folks are actually not going out there and say, hey, you want to buy SDN switches. We're going there to talk about these applications because that's what the customer care about, right? What are the business case? Right. You know, what are the, the benefits to me? And we are going over there and talking about these partner applications. And, and when we are delivering, we're delivering the overall solution. The application, the controller, and the, our switches and routers. I, I'm curious about kind of the profile of the people contributing and the types of applications that they're coming in. Are, mm -hmm. are, obviously there's big there's big problem applications that you described the security. Yeah. Are there any really niche, yeah. niche things that you've got a particular developer who's got a very particular use case and this is now enabling them to build a yeah. very specific something that probably doesn't have real broad adoption, but you know, it's the thing for that particular use case. Yeah, we, we have quite uh, several of that. Uh, in the security area, we have a, a little startup from Israel, and they are creating a very interesting security application where is also after the network kind of a security parameter is breached, it can control the damage in a certain area. And as a matter of fact, is uh, when the hacker comes in with SDN, it can dynamically route the traffic to a controlled server and monitoring what they are doing with the network without the hacker knowing so that they can actually trace back and understand what, you know, who is hacking the network and how to kind of uh, you know, remove the risk from the network. So we, we see a lot of, that. this is where the innovation is coming from. Right, right. Because I think with the mechanism we put in place, we will be able to reap a lot of innovation that we probably have not think of today but this is the, the, the right way to do it. And it's the classic app store dynamics, right? That Those guys have to worry about developing a great app. They don't have to worry about necessarily building a big company, building yes. a big sales force, building their channels, et cetera. They're using your this infrastructure is where HP to really focus on their piece of the value they add. They focus on the innovation of the app. We've, we help them with the global reach and services as well. Right, yeah. right. So, what are the goals of the, the app store? I mean. Where do you want to see it? You got 86 partners, 18 apps. Do you I'm want to not to, so for at this stage, I'm actually not too keen to grow, you know, a huge number of apps. So focus on quality. I, I'm focusing on quality. I'm focusing on customer adoption of existing apps. Mm -hmm. So I'm putting a lot of efforts in the go-to-market level with my team, our sales force, and the partners, uh, sales force and, and team. We're going together to the customers and making sure that they have a wonderful experience deploying these apps. And the reason I'm saying the adoption is picking up is last year, we see a lot of the typical early adopters like the universities. This year, it's different. We're seeing like South Washington School, it's a K-12. It's a K-12 school district. And we are seeing another company, for example, Bama Company, and they're on stage with me here uh, in the customer panel. And they have deployed the SDN link optimizer with all the HP switches. And what they are is they are food manufacturer. Uh, basically all the McDonald's apple pie, doesn't matter where you are, every single apple pie is made and delivered by them. Okay. They have global operations, multiple sites. So we are seeing kind of mainstream customers taking notice mm -hmm. of SDN. And, and your goal is to get hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands, what's, what's kind of Order the, of magnitude. The goal is really to get hundreds of customers yeah, okay. to take uh, 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 the solution uh, with the application from the App Store. And how, yeah. how does one find out what's in the App Store? Where, where do you go? Well, it's, uh, the, the URL is hp.com slash SDN slash App Store. Simple. Uh, yeah. hp.com slash SDN, SDN slash App Store. And you can access from the phone. And uh, we have cloud-based demo capability. So all our service force go in front of the customer. If you have online access, globally, you will be able to demo the app live. Great. Well, Michael, thanks very much for coming on theCUBE, giving us yeah. the update on the App Store. That's the end, hot space. HP, big player there, so really appreciate your time. You're very welcome. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right, keep it right there, everybody. Jeff Frick and I will be back with our next guest. This is theCUBE, we're live from HP Discover in Las Vegas. We'll be right back.